going on it's jaren outdoors here coming at you with a video and today um this video is going to be talking about my tackle and the different uh rods and reels i use and hopefully you enjoy the video and please uh give the video a thumbs so up so first things i'm going to be showing you my main rod uh this is a quintum um rod reel setup i have it prepared with uh 14 um pound test mono this is six six medium uh action rod I really like this rod. Um, I'm I don't really have anything too fancy. It just gets the job done, and I can catch a lot of fish. Secondly, I have a Trayon spin reel. Um, I don't have a rod for this because on one of my trips to Canada, I kind of broke it on a pretty big fish. Um, hopefully, I'm thinking I, I'm probably just gonna get um, a six six uh, spin rod from Walmart or somewhere I can find it inexpensive. It's not, it, all I need is a good reel, and I can catch fish with this also. Um, I use this usually for drop shots and my wacky rig. Um, also, I'm planning on getting a boat, so I'll probably be throwing this a lot more off of that boat. Uh, we're going to start getting into my tackle. So, I actually just started cleaning my tackle right here. I used to use this tackle box, so I'm probably going to get rid of it. And I have two bigger tackle boxes i have one with trays and then i have one with just lures and then over here i have a couple more i have a backpack and then i have a couple more trays so let's get started so what first I thing we're gonna go over my um soft plastics uh you can't by what i'm gonna show you you can probably tell i really like throwing the wacky rig um let's just get all my wacky rigs up show you guys how many I actually have so first um, I got these red wacky rig probably can't see it too well but these really kill the bass in my area I don't know why um, everyone uses like uh, these green pumpkin and uh, watermelon red I, I also use watermelon red but for some reason this dark red during late fall and early spring just really gets the fish biting um, also, uh, I use, I have a ton of these long, or longer worms. I'll take one out for you. I, I use these, I like, um, uh, buying longer worms, because I can trim them down easily, and I can, if I want to use a Ned rig, I can just pull it in half, and if I want to use a shorter, wacky rig, then I can just trim off some of the sides. Next, in my area, um, flukes. Uh, I use a lot of flukes. My favorite color fluke is, um, these were just a shad gray, but I, um, I have a trick that I use, maybe in another video, that I stain them red. And these flukes, I just hook up a uh, Texas rig, let it float next to laydowns, and sometimes I, I don't know why, they work around rocks, um, uh, but these really work in my area, and I love using them. Another great color is, um, is white. I use a lot of white flukes, and I really, I really recommend them if you're in a area with mixed different types of species, like cold water and warm water species, like my area. Um, next, I just have, um, simple, uh, simple, uh, curly tail, well, um, short, warm. Uh, these really work in a place off, uh, you'll see me fish in a couple areas, um, near, uh, um, cattails. Uh, I f have really good luck using these around cattails. Caught a couple pretty decent sized bass. Actually, um, actually the one in my, uh, my photo, that was an eight pound, um, 20, uh, eight pound, two ounce bass. It's my PB, and I caught that using these worms, or these, uh, worms, yeah, and, um, next, this is a crazy little, um, I carry around these bags just with extra stuff, so I have more flukes, um, more longer tails, but the, my, one of my favorite things is I caught a pretty decent sized walleye on a Texas rig using this, and also, I just have some, I use, I like these type of frog, uh, trailers or uh, you, you can use them as frog that's why they're green but also you can use them as crawdad 
which I like. And um, I need to get some more jigs. Another thing that I like using is jigs. But um, I lost a couple of them this summer uh, around the area I was fishing. And I need to get some more of those. Actually, I lost all of them. So that doesn't really show you what type of fisherman. Yeah, I catch a lot of trees. Some other things. Uh, there's just another bag of... Um, ton of uh, soft plastics. Um, I bought a couple of these Zoom um, Zoom uh, like lizards. There's not really a lot of lizards where I live, but I just wanted to try them because um, I mean I see people use them elsewhere, and I want to see if the fish are different. Also, I like throwing finesse worms. I see me throwing a lot of those. And then, um, I don't fish these a lot. These are just straight tail worms. And some more frog extensions. Next, we're going to be getting into my um, lures and right, So back hard into the hard baits. This is um, one of my tackle boxes. Uh, it's a, one of my bigger ones. Um, this is the one I take to Canada. So I still have some Canada lures in there. Um, like these. I like throwing a lot of these um, spoons. In Canada, obviously, you can tell I've caught a couple pike on those. Um, uh, here where I live, I love throwing um, some uh, different types of craw um, squirrel crankbaits. I really like this one. I've caught a couple fish on this. Um, it's unusual, and that's why I bought it. Also, near where I live, um, lipless crankbaits. They're really, um, really active. Uh, the fish are really active on these, and also another color squirrel crankbait. And I also throw a lot of jerk baits. Um, sorry if you can't, I cut my finger. Uh, jerk baits uh, for smallmouth, like fishing smallmouth, and you can really catch a ton of fish on those. Then down lower, or get to my other side. Down lower. We have another one of these plastic tubs. So this plastic tub really has a lot of different baits in here. Um, uh, I have a couple more just larger swim baits. Um, this is a really good size. I like it. Uh, sunfish pattern. Um, this one, <laughs> I'm probably not going to throw a lot. This is what I took to Canada, and I caught a ton of pike on this. There are some pike in... Colorado, but hopefully this summer, upcoming summer, I can get into them. I love throwing poppers, especially this time of year in the fall. Really nice um, patterns. And uh, also I have a topwater spook and a couple other, uh, a couple other crankbaits. Also, beetle spins really work well in my area. Um, catch some, can catch a couple bass, some... Uh, crappy. I really like them, and I have a ton of these uh, these little spinner blades that I I like using on different uh, on different um, types of jigs. Uh, next, I am starting to get into fly fishing. So in another video, I'll probably show you that. And then there's some crappie lures, and then I have some power bait because there are trout in my area, and I have a ton, a ton, a ton of um spinner baits um i have all different colors all different types of blades uh these are my probably one of my favorite types of baits to throw i also have a couple buzz baits also i'll show you my favorite color of my chatter bait my a red and white chatter bait um i really for some reason this red color is really good around my area and i love throwing um this color and this around uh, open water and around lay downs and almost anywhere you can think of. So I don't have to worry about buying any more spinner baits because I have quite a few. And that's one of my that's my larger tackle box. And my other tackle box, I'm still working on setting it up. Uh, wanting to get a couple more lures, but start off the first tray. It's just um different types of hooks. I have some uh, 
some of these weights so I can uh, fish those lizards. Um, I have drop shot rigs, and then I have quite a few hooks, and I have some trailers, and then some swivels. Also, I have, uh, this is one of my um, tips I have for you fishermen that aren't as organized um, and don't really like organizing it. Uh, I just get these um, nail, nail plastic bins and they fit into your tackle box pretty nicely and if you don't want to if you don't feel like sorting anything you could just throw all of your um hooks and xx things in there i have a couple more trailers and then some smaller uh things for crappie then i have a ton of jig uh jig heads and i need to buy some smaller ones um i always keep a magnet with me just in case i drop a hook for example right here I can just pick it up with this magnet and there we go I have a hook so if I drop anything or I spill my tackle box I just use this magnet to pick up everything uh, the second one this is some more uh, top water and swim baits I have another popper um, some smaller uh, Crank baits, or not necessarily crank baits, but just like rollers. Um, some more swim baits, and then I really like throwing frogs. I'm not the best at it, but this summer I'm hoping to get better at it. But I have a couple frogs. This one uh, I kind of threw in Canada, and it got the skirt got bit off. Um, and, but I have a couple of different types of frogs. There's one has like a weight, and then these ones just have like a pedal uh, paddle frog. And finally, the last box is my trout box. Um, I've, I'm not the biggest trout uh, fisherman, but I really want to get into it. Uh, so I just have a ton of small spoons and uh, spinners and a couple of jigs and then two trout crankbaits. And then I have some uh, meps. And then for you guys who like pike fishing... We walk over here. I have quite a bit of pike lures. Grab this. Um, again, there's a place that you can go pike fishing, and uh, this summer I'm definitely gonna go and try pike fishing. Um, the pike in Canada, and if you guys uh, have pike near you, I suggest getting these, uh, just like these trailers, and putting them on it. I have a red, uh, silver minnow, red devil, and. It, all these, uh, all the pike for some reason love them, and this is one of my favorite lures. I call it the musky killer. Um, in one of the ponds near me, I was gonna throw it out, but um, if you can't tell, I kind of broke a couple of the blades on some fish, and then I just have this trailer because I ran out of frog legs. Um, that's most of my tackle. If you guys have any questions, please uh, put them down below. Also, if you guys want that tackle box, put, um, some information. I can get it to you. Uh, any, if you also, like I said, if you have any questions, put it down below. Um, uh, since it's late winter, probably not gonna be able to get a lot of fishing. So all my videos are probably um, gonna come out later in the year, and maybe a hunting video coming out uh, soon. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to go hunting. But if you enjoy, enjoyed, I'd be it would greatly appreciate if you click that like button. Uh, this is my channel, so I'm be probably posting mostly in the summertime. Uh, maybe some hunting videos coming up. I'm I'm not positive, and maybe if I can go fishing. But right now, uh, it's 50 out, so it's pretty nice weather to go fishing. But in two days, um, thanks to the bipolar weather of Colorado, it's gonna be eight degrees out. Um, so I'm probably not gonna be able to do a lot of fishing. Um, and hopefully you guys, uh, stick around and stay tuned for this channel and hopefully, um, we can become big one day, I hope, but this is just for fun. Uh, I'm recording on iMovie, so it's not the best quality. I'm hoping on getting a GoPro this summer for better quality videos, but anyway, like I said, click that like button. Have a great day.